Hi guys and welcome to another Divi Snippets video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to have a look at the footer. I'm in the theme customizer right now. To get there, go to your dashboard, down to Divi and down to theme customizer. You can also get there via appearance and customize. And once we're here I'm going to go down to footer now layout wise if we go down there so we can see what's going on now here's our footer it's a widget area and there's the bottom bar below it there and we can change the layout at the moment it's set up by default as four columns one two three four you can change it to three two one or variation of the two and there's plenty to choose from there as you can see now how do you actually change what's in there well you want to go to your widget area we can go to widgets here but all that does is let us change the color and the text and the font size line height etc which is great for styling purposes but to actually decide what comes up in here we need to go to our widgets area to do that go to your dashboard go to appearance and then widgets And here you've got a, a list of widgets. Now here's our footer areas, one, two, three, four, because we've got four columns enabled, we can use those first four. As you can see, that's got uh, a couple of things in there already. Let's just move categories to footer area two. And we'll get rid of metadata. And we'll put a search in footer area three. And for the area four, let's put our little logo. So we'll just use an image widget for that. Don't want a title for this, add the image that we want to put in there. It's dark, so I'm going to use a light image. For the area three, put a title. I'll just put in search. And area two categories. I think our first one's probably got one in it by default. Not sure if I need that in there with these or not. Save your widgets. Once you save, there's no need to save page changes because once this is done, it's done. We can go back to our customizer, Let's publish our changes, and reload the page. Let's go down to where we were. And as you can see, we've now got four areas. Archives in the first one, categories in the second one, search box in the third one, and our little logo in the fourth. These little icons allow you to edit the actual widget. Now, if you decided you didn't want to use this area at all, really simple, just go back in and delete all the widgets you've got in this area. There we go, and no need to save anything, we'll just refresh again. In fact, if we just visit the site, go down. You see, we've no longer got that widget area at the bottom, all we've got is the bottom bar. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.